YouTube, it's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond, coming at you guys with Sunday morning chit chat. It's Sunday, yeah. Sunday creeped up on us, didn't it? It came on, okay. So, I'm on my way to go to church with my mom, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's always good to go to church and give God some praise, okay? Don't get me wrong, but. I'm not too super, super excited, but she asked me, what you doing tomorrow? Where are you going to church at? I'm like, okay. Um, it is not that I have never been to her, this church that she's attending now. I haven't, but she told me that they don't get out till 3 o'clock. Service start at 11. I'm late, by the way, anyway. I already told her I was going to be late because I was, I didn't get up till late this morning. But anyway, that's beyond that. <laughs> I'm just late. Okay, service is not going to, she said it usually don't get out till 3 o'clock. I'm like, well, what are they doing? And she must have want to say it around my daddy. <laughs> because she said, I'll, I'll, I'll have to tell you that later. <laughs> I'm like, oh God, it must be a doozy. I'm like, okay, I'm all for giving God his praise. And yes, we do everything we want to do six days a week. We should dedicate one day to him, okay? But my thing is, we should dedicate every day to him. We should take some time out every day we should take some time out every day to um give god some praise and some thanks you know just love on him yeah so he can minister to our spirit but when she said three o'clock i'm like oh my god and then the thing about this i got late so only thing i had for breakfast was a banana so i'm gonna be in there thinking about food <laughs> god help me let the spirit meet me at the door and say come on honey Come on, come on right now. <laughs> Let me pray for you because you need some help right now. Let me just get you as soon as you get in here. <laughs> anyway, anyway, okay, we're going to get off that subject because God don't want, God forgive me, forgive me, Lord. <laughs> and he's just to forgive me for being stupid, okay? So, um, but what I want to talk about this morning is a fat girl moment. Oh, MG, MG. Y'all, I can't take this hair here. When I saw it on the mannequin, I said, okay, that is so cute. And I want something different. I get sick of the little, I'm not sick of the short dude, but I wanted something different. I want something a little bit longer, okay? And I tried it on and it looked okay in the store. But I was like, mm, it still look, make, it's too young looking for me. It's too, somebody younger needs this than me, you know? I think. Once we get a little age on us, sometimes I think, and maybe that's just how things have been. Society is when you get older, you start getting your hair cut a little bit shorter. You notice that? Yeah, we get away from the long hair when we get older. And I think that's more so because we don't want to be bothered with no hair when we get older. I think that's what it is. But anyway, I tried. Okay, so I don't know, once I got it on, I said, well, this kind of looks like a young girl hair style. So it wasn't really, ooh, I was like, okay, I'm going to wear it to church today. But that's it. I was trying to get me something to wear all next week. Now, I could pin it back if I wanted to and wear it to work in a pent up style. And I think it would look fabulous in a bun, okay? Like a little messy bun, I think, would look fabulous going to work but just wearing it down mm -mm, it will aggravate the crap out of me because it's already doing that before i can even get where i'm going at so anyway that ain't what the fat girl moment was i'm sorry the fat girl moment was trying on my shoes omg y'all i'm telling you i can tell that i have picked up weight i'm telling you i can feel it in my stomach anyway and it just I feel heavy and bloated and I just feel I feel terrible with this weight that I have picked up I'm telling you guys the honest to God truth and I remember when um, when I was heavier and I wasn't even thinking about weight loss or even not even on a weight loss journey I used to hate for people to blame everything on weight but now that I have lost weight and I have picked regained some weight I can see what they were talking about, what they were saying. It is the truth. Some of it's the truth. Now, everything you can't blame on weight, but you know what I'm saying. But I can blame this on weight because I used to could wear my heels. I used to could wear three, four-inch heels. 
no problems. I would stand up and minister in these heels. And now putting them on, my feet catching cramps. I'm like, oh my God. And right now, the ones that I, look, I tried on, I'm telling you no lie, the sixth pair. And I said, okay, I can't try on another pair because I'm tired of digging through shoes. I can't try on another pair of shoes. And I almost put some flats on. I'm like, oh my God, that's me when I was heavy. I used to wear those little flats with the little he, I'm like, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. Nothing wrong with it, you guys. To those of you who can't wear flats, don't, I'm talking about me personally. I'm like, that was one of my non-scale victories was to get away from those little flat heels wearing them to church and wear my little stiletto heels oh my goodness and now i'm walking like a newborn baby on her <laughs> on her tiptoes and people gonna be saying oh her feet hurt i, I already know that because that's how i was walking in the house i'm like god help me help me lord <laughs> trying to look cute and can't even look cute okay it's a mess it's a mess and the shoes that i used to wear and these that i got on now i thought you know they were cute because they had a little scrap on them the heel is not as high as um as the ones that i would normally wear but i look i got them and i like them because like i said they have a strap around the ankle something about that strap around an ankle on a shoe is so cute and sexy to me i like that so anyway that's why I have these with the little bit, not a heel, probably about like, like that maybe on them. So, I have come to the conclusion that I'm fat, fatter, okay, I never got skinty, I'm fatter, and I got to lose this weight. I got to get back down. I'm not buying any more shoes. Y'all already seen all the shoes I got. Well, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna buy no more shoes because if I see a pair that's cute, I'm gonna buy them. But I'm not buying them for the purpose that I cannot wear the ones that I got. That's how I'm gonna put that. I refuse to buy shoes because I can't wear any of these shoes that I have. It's senseless because some of these, my shoes, not some of them, all of them are in good tip top shape because I never have to wear them multiple times back to back. Except for my work shoes now. If I get into the mood, I don't want to change them. I can, but I don't have to. But as far as church shoes, I can flip-flop all day long. Or dressy shoes, let's put them that way. Heels, um, I don't have to. But, and it's I never it never dawned on me that I don't dress up and go out and do anything anymore since I haven't really officially been dating again or anything because when I would go out I would put on some little heels and dressy sandals with that was higher in the heel I haven't done that and God knows when so it's like I didn't realize just how used to have got to wearing flaps again like little flip flops and sandals and sneakers and you know things like that and it's like wow Wow. <laughs> okay. So anyway, I know y'all. I know she is not taking her morning chit chat to talk about her not being able to wear any heels. Yes, I am. Y'all know how my chit chats go. Y'all know how they roll. It ain't nothing special. Don't count it strange. You know me. Okay. So that really tore me up, and I'm like, and even with my pantyhose that I used to could wear. Oh my God. But see, usually because it's when it's hot. Miss Natalie don't wear pantyhose. She wear little sandals or open-toed um, shoes, you know, with the nails painted done and all that, okay? But I think this church is kind of like old school, kind of like, so I don't like to offend people. You know, they like the pantyhose with the girdles and the slip. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. So I think it's like that. It might not be. Like I said, I've never been there, but that's the impression I get. So... I said I'll put on some pantyhose today for that purpose, you know, but <laughs> I really don't want to wear no pantyhose. I can't stand the pantyhose in the summertime. It is just too hot to be wearing some pantyhose. So, um, but anyway, so I got them on. They have way mid my belly. 
put on my body shaper. I got out of breath trying to pull it up over my belly. Y'all, it was a mess this morning trying to get ready for church. But I need to get out because, you know, I hadn't been actually physically in a church building in a while. I had, to, like, I'll scream it, stream it on um, the computer. Like, there's a local church I can stream. Or sometimes I will stream um, T.D. Jakes Ministry and watch their morning worship service online, you know. So, or either I would just, um, you know, watch ministering on television that's what i had been doing for a while so i didn't really have the opportunity to actually put on any heels or pantyhose or body shapers and i'm like this belly was about to win with the body shaper <laughs> God, i gotta get back with it you guys it's on like popcorn starting monday i gotta get dedicated to this thing i gotta get back dedicated i gotta get back up i gotta start working out i gotta quit i gotta quit i was lazy all last week and this just can't go on any longer. I can't take this anymore. I can't take this belly anymore. It's got to go. Belly's got to go. And it has to, got to go effectively this year. It's got to go. So if I stick to it, I still got what? Let's see. August just came in. So August, September, October, November, December. I got five months to work on getting this belly somewhat down. Okay? gotta work on it okay it's on it is on this belly is not going to win oh my god it's not gonna win you know i refuse to let it win okay i am oh, this is my pep talk <laughs> i need to keep it up till monday too right monday morning when that alarm goes off at 5 30 in my eye oh you can't see my eye i got my shades on well one eye is closed and one is cracked okay saying are you for real it's time to get up yeah i need to get with it so anyway i will talk with you guys later i'm gonna quit boring y'all and i'm gonna get on down the street because there's a truck behind me that's probably saying if she don't speed up what is she doing i know they are but anyway you guys just remember to give god some praise give him some thanks for waking up this morning starting you on your way giving you another chance to get it right okay whatever you're doing just stop right now as you're listening to this and say god i thank you simple as that okay anyway don't know about any sales going on i know there's some good all at cvs but i'm not planning on doing anything this week okay i'm not planning on it but i'll see when i get back i'll look at some videos or um, go online on some blog sites and see what's going on and see if it's worth me hustling bustling going out but anyway, I will talk with you guys later in the next video. Bye.